how would you like to create this design for yourself using only your mobile phone and an app called Canva for mobile. Well in today's video, I'm going to show you how. So stick around and watch till the end. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to create this design using only your mobile phone and an app called Canva for mobile. So if you're looking for ideas for your own print on demand store, well I'm going to show you how to create this step by step. If however you're also looking for designs to create as gifts, if you own your own print on demand business and you want to give personalized gifts to friends, family members or loved ones and you want to create something for yourself but you don't know how or what and I'm going to show you how to do that today so for the next few slides I'm just going to show you or give you an idea as to what the product or the end result might look like as a gift or if your customers would like to purchase say, a tea mug or a t-shirt or a sticker or a magnet what it would look like or if you're giving those gifts to your friends and family members and loved ones what it would look like so you have a visual representation of what the end product or end result would look like so this is a coffee mug from the side view. This is the coffee mug from the front view. This is what the design would look like as a sticker. In this example, it's on a flask. And this is the design as a magnet. This is what the design would look like on a graphic t-shirt. And this is what the design would look like on a classic or essential t-shirt, if you will. All right, so for the next slide, I'm going to show you what you need, and then we're going to start designing. So let's get into it. All right, so this is what you're going to need for today's illustration. It's four things, and um, they are as follows. Illustration of a katano, cartoon cat, cute animal character, text with background effect, Google Translate, and for the font info, you will use Zcool. Kuali, I guess that's how you pronounce it, with a size of 439. Just a bit of a side note here, um, I like to design uh, outside because I like being in nature and because I'm from the Caribbean or Caribbean, birds fly by my home on a regular basis and it's nestled in the foothills of a valley. So the if you do hear birds in the background and that kind of thing, um, I do apologize if it annoys you. But it's, I'm doing this so you can have an idea of what my world is like to some extent. Um, I like the nature and the birds and the peace and quiet. It helps me to relax and it's a bit of tranquility for me. So with that out of the way, let's go. All right. So when you open up Canva for mobile, this is the very first page that you're going to see on your app. If you're familiar with Canva for mobile, then this should be easy for you. If you're new to Canva, and you're trying to find your way around well as i promised before i'm going to walk you through it step by step so do you see that plus sign located at the bottom right of your screen it's above menu you're going to tap that so you tap that then you're going to go into custom size and you're going to go with a width of 4500 pixels and a height of 5400 pixels your unit of measurement today is going to be pixels so just make sure that is selected you have pixels inches millimeters and centimeters you're going to select pixels that's your unit of measurement today and then you tap create new design all right now that we have that up the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select or tap the tab elements or the element tab rather that's located at the bottom of your screen next to templates you're going to tap the elements tab and then we're going to start our search now remember from the screen before I showed you the four things that you will need? Well, here we go. So the first thing is we're going to type in katana or illustration of a katana. Anyone will work. Now I typed in illustration of a katana before in preparation for today's video. So you can pause the video, take a note of it and type it in your search bar if you wish. So I'm going to type in or select illustration of a katana. And then you're going to come across to graphics. So you tap the graphics tab. And then we're going to scroll and look for the icon that we're looking for or that we need. 
I will encourage you to play around and explore in Canva. But for today's video, I'm going to use this one that says Pro. It has a circular background with the katana and it's unsheathed, if that's the word, it's out of its protective casing. And if you don't have the Pro version, not to worry, I'm going to put a link for you to try Canva free, Canva Pro, for 30 days for free. And then you can play around and explore with the app for yourself. So let's continue with the design. We're going to tap on the katana that has the circular background, the red circular background. And then you bring it up a little bit. Right, and we're going to continue to look for the next item. So we come back to the plus sign located at the bottom left of your phone screen and you tap that. We clear the previous search and then we're going to type in cartoon cat. Cartoon cat, cute animal character. Again, in preparation for today's video, I typed it out. So you can pause your video, take a note of it, and then come back and we can continue with the video for today. So I'll leave a, if a brief second or two for you, for you to see that, and then we'll continue. All right, so you tap cartoon cat cute animal character. That's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> so once you have that in there, you select the graphics tab. And I'm going to use this black card because it's black and it's cute and it looks sort of menacing but cute and playful at the same time, you know? So that's why I'm choosing this one. So now that we have that done, you want to be able to appropriately size your element so that nothing looks out of place. So you bring your character down and I should have resized this one. So you just tap anywhere on the screen. So you tap the, the katana. And you make it a little bigger by holding one of the corners and dragging it. I think that's a good size for today. And then Canva has these um, grid lines. If you see the center one to let you know that your design is center. So you, once you have it in place and you just tap anywhere on your screen. And then we're going to tap the little black cat. And you will make it bigger. But not too big. Because you want to have it sized appropriately for the other elements on your screen. But that's um, entirely up to you. That's a personal choice in terms of how you want to size it. So what I'm going to do is move the little guy up so that his ear is sort of like by the first, um, by the katana at the top there. And then we're almost done. So once you're satisfied with how that looks, then you just come out of your screen. Now we're going to put in the words now. So in case you were wondering why we needed Google Translate before, well, this is the reason why. So you have a choice. If you have Google Translate on your phone or any translation app that you use that you're comfortable with, then you go to that. And the translation that we're going to put into this video is EW PEOPLE. <laughs> or you can put anything that's playful and um, genuine and clean at the bottom there. You know, or fun. All right. So today I am using um, EW PEOPLE. <laughs> so we can do that. All right, so here I am in my Google Translate app on my mobile. So today we're translating ew, people. And that is what we're gonna be using as part of the design element in our design today. So I typed it in, and now I have it down at the bottom here. So I can either just highlight everything and copy it, or I have the option of hitting the copy icon and copying it to my, to my clipboard. All right, and I'll see you back in the app shortly. In Canva, that is. All right, so here we are back in here. And now we are going to use the text that we copied from your respective translation app. And we're going to put it in as one of the design elements in today's video. So you tap on the plus sign again. And then we come across to text. And then we say, or tap add a heading. And bring it down. Then we're going to tap on edit. Then you paste the information that you had from your clipboard that you copied over from your translation app into Canva now. So this is what I'm going to do now. It will be unique respective to um, whatever app you're using on your phone. So you would know how to cut and paste or copy and paste. All right. So now that we have the text inside there, we're almost done. We're not quite done yet, but we're getting there. So now that we have the text in there, we're going to add an effect to it. So with the text highlighted, you come to the bottom of your screen and you're going to scroll to the right until you see an option called effects. 
So you tap on effects, and then you're going to scroll all the way to the right until you see the option called background. So you tap that. And if you want to change some of the settings, you can tap it again because you have some um, icons here that let you know that you have the option of modifying it. So I will show you that today. So you tap it again and you have some options, roundness, spread, transparency, and of course the color. So you can have it very round or, very, or square by sliding the slide back and forth. Again, this is a personal choice. So I'm going to leave it like right there. And the spread, the spread is how big or small the background color is. So if I go to the left, it gets smaller. If I go to the right, it gets bigger. Again, this is a personal preference, so it's entirely up to you to play with Canva and see what works for you and what might work as a gift for that special friend or loved one that you're designing this for. Or for your own merch store, you select the color scheme and theme that you think would be appropriate for your audience. And of course, you have the option for color. So I can make the background, I guess, that sort of a pinky thing or lilac or red, which wouldn't quite fit. But you get the idea. Okay. And we're almost done. Well, technically we are done. What we can do now is just group everything together or move everything to make sure it's perfectly aligned. So how we group everything together, uh, you just select an icon on your screen and you hit the three dots or tap the three dots and then you use tap select multiple and you can say select the cat and then the katana and then we have the option to group and canva will tell you how many items you have selected in this case it's three and you say group and that's it what this will do for you is that it allows you to move everything together as one design element uh, so you can resize it make it bigger or smaller to suit your personal preference or need okay so that's it for today's video i hope you got some value from it thank you for your time today don't forget to like and subscribe and share it so everyone can see that they can do this for themselves and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye